Hello, welcome to News Now. I'm your host, Adi Batista. Today we're talking about elections and making your plan to vote. I have here Ellen O'Brien Cushman, a uh, town clerk, that will be helping us today about all the answers and questions that we may have. Hi, Adi. Hi, how are Thanks you today? Thanks for having me. Um, so I have one question. What if I'm not registered to vote yet? What do I need to do to get registered to vote? And what, what else do I need to know about that? Great question. There are some timelines coming up and some deadlines coming up. Uh, so I'm going to try and give you a couple tips. If you aren't sure you're registered to vote at all, or if you think you may have been registered but someplace other than in Belmont, now's the time to check your voter registration. You should go to the state website, which is www.voteinma.com. It will help you to decide whether you are already registered to vote or allow you to register or change your address. All of those are really important. The deadline to do so is October 26th at 5 p.m. So uh, online, that's one way. You can call the town clerk's office in Belmont if you're not necessarily an internet type of person. It's 617-993-2603 and we'll help you out. We just want to make sure that everybody is registered at the right place. Massachusetts is an address-based voting system. So where you are registered is where you vote. Thank you for that information. That's wonderful. So, what if, so now you're registered to vote. How do we vote? Excellent question. So Massachusetts is, again, we are a paper ballot system. So uh, you do need to make sure that if you are registered, you can follow one of three methods to vote in Massachusetts. And these are all, uh, some of them are brand new and some of them have been around forever. You can always vote in person on election day and there are a lot of people who choose to do that. You can vote early. Uh, you can go to town hall and vote early in person, and that means you complete your ballot, you sign an envelope, you put your ballot into the envelope and seal it and put it into our ballot box. That will be counted and go to the results that everybody will see on election day. The third way is to choose to ask for and request an app, a ballot, which is an early vote by mail ballot, and that requires an application with a signature of the voter, or you can go to the portal. And the portal is conveniently located again on voteinma.com. Great. So now let's say it's election day. Yes. And I registered to vote, or I think I am. Mm -hmm. How do I find out, to confirm that I'm registered to vote? Uh, well, if you haven't already used that voteinma.com, uh, you can go to your polling place. And there are eight voting places on election day in Belmont, and they're they're act like sort of the the pie pieces of a, or a wheel. And uh, you can check where you are registered to vote again using that portal. Show up. Uh, it's always a good idea to carry your ID with you if you go to vote. There are certain voters in Massachusetts who are flagged to absolutely who must present an ID before their ballot can go into the box. Those people are typically called inactive voters. Doesn't mean that they don't vote. It doesn't mean that they're not interested in elections. All that means is during the calendar year they have not, as a family household, turned in a census form to the town clerk's office and it's not been recorded. We try to be perfect, but we aren't. And so there might be some people who actually have turned them in and they're still labeled as inactive. They've received a postcard from me saying, hey, your status has changed in June. And if they haven't returned it or they have not voted in an election after I've done that, so if they didn't vote in the September primary, they could go and realize that they're inactive. So they, those people are going to be, when they get to the first stop and they give their name, they're going to be told that they're in active status and that they just need to sign an affidavit that says that's where they live and present an ID. And they go right back, get a ballot, and there's no problem. Their ballot goes right in the box. That is fantastic, Ellen. Thank you for that. Sure. So let's segue into voting and voting security. Sure. So tell me what you and your staff do to make sure our votes account and our votes are safe. So uh, the state actually of Massachusetts is a little unusual. We are still a paper ballot state, which basically means that every ballot that is marked, every ballot that is distributed has to be accounted for. And it's not just accounted for before, it's accounted for at every polling place, at every time that we're using ballots. We know how many go in, how many are voted, how many are unused, and how many should come out. And we reconcile every single step of the way. Our ballots physically are located in vaults and they are locked, combination vaults and special key vaults. And there's uh, 
two of us who have the keys or the combinations. So it's not, they're not just sort of left out in boxes first. Uh, secondly, we use wonderful tabulators. We in Belmont switched in 2023 to you begin using ESNS, which is Election Systems and Software, a company out of Omaha, uh, because our old tabulators from 1995 were showing some age. They weren't as stable as we would like. Uh, they still did a great job for us, but every once in a while they would have a little wonky thing happen, um, not resulting in changes of votes, but basically just some kind of an electrical charge that meant that we might have to do a hand count of those ballots. So um, we're really excited. These are called DS200s. Uh, we also have a DS450, which is a high-speed tabulator. That allows us to count the uh, early vote ballots that might be returned early with uh, proper notice to people um, that they can come and observe everything that we do. And uh, we were able to count those at 10 times the rate. So it makes for, a, instead of a, just a 16-hour day every day, only on Election Day. Great. Thank you for all that information. Thank you for all the hard work that you and your staff do. You're welcome. A um, couple more questions for you. Sure. Uh, one question for you is, how can anybody get involved to help? So um, on the town clerk's website, or the town um, website, which is belmont-ma.gov, someone can look for employment um, opportunities, and uh, there's an election worker uh, worksheet and application there. Someone would have to fill it out, submit it, um, and then take training before they're allowed to be deployed. Our training is uh, is required. We do it before every single election to make sure of all of our election workers are current uh, on all of our technology as all of the laws. As you probably know, Addy, um, in 2022, the Votes Act changed a lot of election laws in Massachusetts. So we just really need to make sure that our folks are representing the legal um, allowances for um, voting. Great. Alan, thank you for all this information. Sure. So is there anything else you need uh, the residents of Belmont uh, to, you know, to yes. know. Yes, if you don't mind, I'd love to throw in a couple of things. Sure. So uh, early voting in person, uh, so let's give some deadlines first. So early voting, um, if you want to receive a ballot um, by mail, you have to apply by October 29th at 5 o'clock. That application has to come to me. It's uh, written or it's on that portal that I mentioned, and I think it's appearing at the bottom of the screen. Uh, and uh, we will mail you that ballot. You do need to get all mailed ballots have to reach me at our Dropbox or um, in the town clerk's office by 8 o'clock, which is the close of polls on November 5th, Election Day. Um, we do ask, please, 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 don't wait till the last day because early is no longer on Election Day. That's what. It's a lot of work to process all these ballots, make sure everybody who has a ballot is properly accounted for. Um, people have questions about early voting ballots, and they want to know, well, I'm at home and I don't have a ballot marker. What can I use? Some people are concerned. They're using Sharpie markers, and they're bleeding through. They wonder whether that's going to count. Yes, the ballot will be counted. If it doesn't go through the ballot uh, tabulator, the vote tabulator, it is hand counted by the precinct staff. So every single ballot that is valid for a voter will count, and it will be counted. You can use a ballpoint pen. In fact, that's our preferred tool. Don't use the Sharpie marker. If you haven't done it already, please don't use the Sharpie marker. Um, and most important, sign the envelope. The envelope is a, uh, an affidavit that said you are who you say you are. And in Massachusetts, as you probably know, there are, I described earlier, the people who have to provide their ID. But Massachusetts is not an ID required state. Once you have registered to vote, you're only allowed to be asked to provide an ID if there's some doubt about your, um, your residency and your voting. So the average person does not present an ID when they go and vote. So the, the um, early vote ballots that go to people's homes, that's the extra step that the legislature and the elections division of the secretary's office um, put on there. So you do have to sign it or your ballot won't count. It won't be opened, it won't be counted. It'll just be refused and you will receive a rejection notice. Uh, early voting in person, this, that second kind of category, it actually opens on Saturday, October 19th from 10 to 4 on Saturdays. Um, and I know I have provided a schedule and it'll probably appear, uh, but we will run for two weeks, so October 19th through November 1st. And we are closing uh, early voting by law at um, noon on November 1st when all office hours end. Um, and then lastly, that only happens, early voting only happens at town hall. But on Election Day, November 5th, people need to go to their voting precincts, which are open from 7 in the morning until 8 p.m. 
long day for all our workers um, who are there early and um, wait until all the counts and everything will appear on the town website once uh, we get our unofficial results. That's great. That's that's quite a bit of information. Thank you. <laughs> so let's say someone wants to just recap and make sure they're, they're capturing all that. Where can they go again one more time to make sure that they know they can actually figure out their strategy for mm -hmm. voting on Election Day? Uh, first, check to make sure that you are registered where you live. And again, the website, voteinma.com. Uh, decide whether you're going to be around and want to vote in person on Election Day, which is open from 7 in the morning till 8 at night. If you are not going to be around and you're, there's some doubt as to whether you'll be in Belmont or you're going to get to your polling place, by all means, file for an, uh, a early voting ballot and have us mail it to you. Or make a plan to go during that period of time that I just said, October 19th through November 1st, to show up at town hall without an appointment and just vote. And get your sticker and take a selfie at our new little selfie station that says you voted, trying to encourage people to take pictures and post that they're voting and we want other people to participate as well. In Belmont, we have traditionally been somewhere in the 80s, 85% vote during presidential election, uh, general elections, and we are hoping that that will happen this time too. Well, Alan, thank you so much for all this information. This has been great. And thank you again, everyone, for viewing us here at News Now. Thank you.